Welcome to Novastar Course. Today, I'll introduce you the operation of data package upgrade, that is, firmware package upgrade. What is a firmware package? The firmware package is a collection of system control commands. All functions to be implemented by the system are obtained from the package. Whether it is a sending card or a receiving card, there is a factory default firmware package. Without the package, the device will not be usable. Why to upgrade the firmware? There are several reasons. One, fix known bugs through upgrades to optimize product functions and enhance system stability. Two, achieve new features through upgrades. Three. Soft problem of display differences caused by different packages. Categories of firmware packages and how to obtain them. One, standard firmware, the officially released firmware version. You can download it from Novastar's official website or online disk sharing link. The official website address and web disk link are as follows. Two, customized firmware. When some functions are not in the mainstream of the market and cannot be met by the standard firmware, a customized firmware is needed to support these functions. Novastar recommends customers to keep using the customized firmware and not to upgrade the firmware without consulting display manufacturer or Novastar technical support beforehand. How to check the sending and receiving card program versions in the current control system? Open Nova LCT software. Click Settings. Select Hardware Information and click Refresh in the Hardware Program Version Information to view the program version of the sending card and receiving card in the current control system. As shown in the software, the current sending card is VX4S. The firmware program version is V1.7.3.0 STD. The receiving card is MRV300. Firmware program version is V4.4.0.0 STD. And STD means the standard version program. How to upgrade the firmware? Decompress the downloaded firmware packages to your desktop. One, upgrade the sending card. Open Nova LCT software and log in. As an advanced synchronous system user, password is admin. After login, enter the update password admin on the main interface of the software, and the data package upgrade window pops up. Load the data upgrade package of the sending card on a desktop. Select the folder of the decompressed files, then click Update. Wait for the device and software to complete the upgrade operation automatically. After the upgrade is complete. Click Refresh again. 
the current sending card program has been updated to V1.7.4.0. So the update was successful. Two, upgrade the receiving card. In the data package upgrade window. Load the data upgrade package of the receiving card on a desktop. Click Upgrade. A pop-up option appears. You can upgrade to all receiving cards when the entire screen requires new features or you want to fix known problems. Or you can upgrade to the specific receiving card. When a program of an individual or part of the receiving card program does not match, click OK and wait for the device and software to complete the upgrade automatically. After the upgrade is complete, click Refresh again. The current receiving card program has been updated to V4.6.0.0 STD version, so the update was successful. How to read back the data package of the receiving card? When customers use A Access Series receiving card, DH Series receiving card. And MRV two zero six, MRV two six six, MRV three two eight, MRV three one six, and MRV three six six. They can read back the current data package directly from the receiving card. The operation is as follows: in the data package upgrade window, select. Receiving card program readback. Select the location of the receiving card that needs to be readback, and click OK. The software will automatically read the current package of the receiving card to the computer desktop. We can use this package to update all the receiving cards. So that they can work with the same firmware program. Okay, these are the details about the operation of the data package upgrade. See you next time.